Hello, thank you for joining this video. Here we'll explore the simple description section for your Shopify store. So before we begin, I'd like to show you a few examples of how we've used the simple description section for our demo stores. So for this, we go to our demo store, the lace theme style. So we go to the product detail page, the PDP, and we scroll down here and here is the section with the text. So this is the simple description section that's added through your default product template. And keep in mind that it's added to all of your products. So if you want to share some, maybe your brand story with your clients or about your materials or about the idea behind your store, you can do it by using this section. So this is this example that we have. And we also have an example here in our another demo store, Mio. And here, as you can see, we've also have this uh, section about the products and the contact form linked to the text. So now let's go to our theme customizer. First of all, we need to choose the page where we'd like to add this section. So in this video, we'll look at two examples on the home page and on the product detailed page on the PDP. So first of all, we go to the home page and then we scroll here to add a new section. And once we click add a section, we just need to search for our simple description section. So here it is. Here's our section. So here we can click on it and choose the heading. We can also modify the text. We can also change the content alignment. So from the left to center to right or justify the text. We can also choose the block alignment. So for example, if we do center and center, then our block and our text, uh, all of this is located in the center. Then we can also uh, set the offsets. So offsets are these spacing between these sections. So we can either remove the offset, set it to zero pixels or add some space between this section and the same for the desktop offset bottom, as you can see, and the same for mobile for the top and for the bottom as well. So here is this section and you can easily customize it to whatever you need. For example, you can change the heading, you can change the text and let's take um, the next example. So here we have uh, several, uh, several pictures like images. And as you can see, this is the grid image section and it doesn't have any heading. So for example, if you want to use this section grid images to showcase your new collections, uh, then for example, we can name our heading, maybe like new collection. And in the text, we can add something like explore our new collection. And maybe we'd like to link all of this text. We'll choose all the whole of this text. We click on insert link and we can actually link the external links and the internal. So for this example, let's choose the internal and we'd like the collections, all collections for example, or a specific, the new collection, for example, let's say we have these dresses new collection, and we can also choose for the link to open in the new window. So let's now insert the link here. So as you can see, this is our new section. Here is this text. We can make it all in bold, for example. Here we can also um, change the paragraph type so we can make the text bigger. So for example, let's choose this one. So as you can see, it's, it's now quite big or we can choose uh, this one here. And now when we save our changes, we can just simply go back to here to the homepage template. Now we can click here and we can actually toggle this section to wherever we want. So for example, we get to the grid images and here is our simple description. We can remove the offsets here. And now, as you can see, this whole section can look as if it was one big section with new collection, with the link to go to the new collection and with these images here. 
So this is one of the ways you can choose, uh, you can use uh, the simple description section. The other way you can also choose to promote your social media, for example. So we can add this section, we can add this simple description section once again. Then we can uh, rename it to follow us, for example. And here in the text, we can add something like follow us on Instagram here. And uh, you can easily just link it to add your Instagram page. So I'll go to our the manual real quick to just get the link for the Instagram. And now let's add the link here. So for external links, keep in mind that you need to add HTTP uh, as well as the to go along with the link. Then we'll add the open in the new window. And now let's insert this here. Uh, so once we save the changes, let's now go and view our store to check how the section looks like. So here we are on our store. Let's first of all check the first section that we created that we moved to the grid images. So here, as you can see, it says new collection. We can also add these links here. Here are these images. And then when we go to the bottom here, here is our follow us and with the link to our social media. You can, of course, add more and more images in here. I'm sorry, text in here. Uh, then we, uh, after that, we'll take a look at how this section can be utilized for the product detail page for the PDP, just like in these examples. So we go here to the product, default product. Let's click here and uh, let me just change the product in here to, let's see, this one. Okay, then we go to the template and here we already have the simple description. So keep in mind that this section is static for the PDP. Um, it's added initially, uh, so no need to add it once again here. If you don't want to show it, you can easily click here on height and this section will disappear. Uh, so now we click on this section. And now let's rename it, for example, to learn more about our brand, for example. And here you can write all the information that you want to share with your clients about your brand, about your materials, etc. So feel free to customize this section to whatever suits you the best. And of course, you can change again the center, uh, the content alignment, the block alignment. And this section can actually be used for a variety of cases. These were just a few of the examples of how you can utilize this section in your store. And this is it. So thank you very much for your time. If you have any questions, feel free to contact our support team. We are always here to help. And don't forget about our theme manual where you can also find all of this useful information. Thank you very much for your time. Have a great day. Bye.